All right, guys. We're fixing to get started. All right, I have a cookie sheet with tinfoil on it. If you have one of these cookie drying sheets, you can put that on here. Um, me, I am just going to put it on here. Let me get the meat and show you guys what I'm going to do. All right, there's our meat. get a plate so I can get this meat cut. And grab some paper towels. Y'all remember the spices that I put together. That's them right here. Here's that honey. And here's that brush. I'm going to take a piece of meat. And I'm just going to cut mine in strips. And you see, guys... I'm using a steak knife. And I'm just going to make three strips. Three cuts, rather, out of one piece. And I'm going to set it back in here. No, I'm not using gloves. Smells really good. And what we're going to do is we're going to pat it dry, put it on the cookie sheet. Um, I just noted, noticed that my oven, oven has a convention oven on it. Um, so I'm going to use the convention on mine. Um, if you don't have one, just take and set your, um, your oven to the lowest temperature possible. And when you put it on your cookie sheet, make sure you have a little bit of space in between so that it can get air. Because if you got it packed on top of each other, it's not going to cook, guys. Which I'm probably going to be using the cookie sheet. I mean the um, other little rack on... another pan and stick it in the oven. And when you, we're putting on the um, the seasoning dry rub, make sure you pat your meat dry with the paper towel. And after this gets ready. I will be taking and sealing it in some vacuum seal bags. And that way, whenever hubby or my son wants some jerky, 
Thank you, I'm grab my bag. Use a little steak knife. But this is just some quick, simple. A little beef jerky. Nothing special. Everybody can make this one. Alright, let me rinse this off. I put a paper plate down, a uh, paper towel down. Like this. Now this is how I do mine. You do yours however you like. And I'll put some more paper towel. Yes, I still have my call. Cannot get rid of it. Alright. Here comes the fun part. Let me go ahead. Because I know for a fact that I'm going to have to have it.
Get it down as far as it'll go. Mine goes to 170. Start. The fan is on. All right. Ooh. Pat it dry. Set that one to the side. We got our seasoning. Make sure you pat it dry. And we're going to start layering it in. Well, not layering, but laying it in. Which I'm probably going to have to have. I'll be cooking more than just. Once these get done, I can add, mix them on. And it's best to take your time and make sure it's separated. And spaced out. Because you don't want it too close together, guys. Because I'm going to tell you. Um. You gotta have a little bit of room. What I'm doing is I'm trying to get them in the spot before I put the spices on them. take some of my spices and I'm sprinkling that right on top. Pat it in. And these are the spices guys that I made up last night. You guys seen. Now I'm only going to put it on that one side because I don't want it um, overpowered. Alright, this one's going in the oven. You move this one up. It'll be easy to clean up. I'm going to put my rack on top.
I'm worried they're going to have some meat left. So, I'm going to take all of these. Put the paper towel back on it. Stick those in the fridge until I have those ready. Alright, let me get the spices on these. And as you can tell, we still got um, some of the garlic and the onions. Because I didn't want to rub it. You just want to pat. Really good. The temperature is set. Alright, let me get this one in. It's two pans. Another pan. I'll just have to make sure any juice that's in here, get it out. Pour it out. Stick it back in. So I can go ahead and get these cooking. Every hour, I will be going and checking, and if there's any moisture, I'm going to be patting it dry. But, um, remember guys, don't forget about it. You still have to keep close eye on it. And I will come back and show you guys what it looks like when it gets ready.